Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now for those of you that have seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I do original songs on the piano, I do cover songs on the piano, or I'm reviewing some equipment, or I'm giving a tutorial, or a demo, or a comparison of manufacturer's equipment. Today it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Now there's a lot of great songwriters out there and a lot of great pianists out there and they're trying to get their pieces into film or television and there's some great services out there for that. There's broadjam.com, there's hitlicense.com, there's taxi.com and there's a whole bunch of other services and I've actually had some um, success with some of those. I've got accepted for some of my original music into music libraries that will eventually hopefully be used in film or television. But I've been doing this a long time and I can tell you this. If you go back and watch my videos back in 2011 and listen to the quality, which is still better than most of the quality that's out there on YouTube, and I'm talking about playing digital pianos that are made by Yamaha and Korg and Casio. And these are pro pianos. And now compare them to the videos that I do today with the Korg Kronos and the Nord Stage 2. It's night and day. And the reason I bring that up is no matter how great your song is, when you submit that song to one of these online services for film and television or for music libraries, no matter how well that listener for that department who's responsible for picking and choosing what goes into a film or a television, no matter how much they love it, if the quality isn't there, you're out. Plain and simple, it's a hard fact of life. Now, and it's amazing because I started getting accepted for a lot of things lately since in the past two years since I had the Chord Kronos and the Nord Stage 2 because of the quality. I mean, unless you're, you're performing on a real acoustic piano, and if that acoustic piano happens to be a Bosendorfer Imperial Grand 290 or an Italian Grand Fazioli Concert Grand Piano or a Schimmel or a Beckstein or a Steinway Model D or a Yamaha C7. Those are all top of the line pianos. Now, granted, you might have a Samick at home or something else, and, and that's great, but it just doesn't come close to the quality of the pianos I just mentioned. Those pianos stand out. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for quality that stands out. Most people I know don't have one of those pianos at home, nor do they have access to one of those pianos. And even if they did, do they know how to mic it? Do they know how to record it? Do they know how to mix it down? I mean, these are all things that you have to have in order to submit a successful submission to one of these services to get into film or television. Now, the next best thing is to get yourself a Chord Kronos or a Nord Stage 2 because in this Nord Stage 2 I've got a Fazioli Concert Grand, I've got a Bosendorfer Imperial 290, I've got uh, Steinway D, I mean whatever I want I've got it here and it pretty much sounds almost like the real thing. So much so that it stands out from everything else. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking for television and film quality. No matter how good your song is, if it doesn't have the quality, it's not going to cut it with them. They're not going to call you and say, we love that song. Can you come in to our studios and redo it? not going to happen. You got one shot for whatever you're submitting to. So, I mean, listen to this. I 
I'm not going to waste your time playing the whole thing, but the quality is there. That particular sample you're listening to is a Fazioli Concert Grand. And, and who has six digits to spend on something like that? So, most people, I mean, myself included, even if I had, if somebody gave me a, a Bosendorf for Imperial Grand 290, where am I going to put it? I mean, yeah, I can put it in my living room, but that's all I'm going to have in my living room. Here I am in my studio, and this, this partition that you see that's on wheels, so that you don't see what's behind here, I've got a performance area back there with seating for up to 40 people. And if I put that piano back there, I don't have seating anymore. I mean, it takes up a, an, an enormous amount of room. So here's what your options are. Anywhere in the world, whatever digital piano you have, record your original song, put it in MIDI format, and contact me. Tell me what you got, how long it is, tell me what kind of piano you want, and I will make that MIDI file into a grand recording using either a Fazioli or a Bosendorfer or a Steinway or a Yamaha or whatever you want and it's gonna sound great and keep in mind if you're using a cheap $200 digital piano it's not gonna sound great because chances are it doesn't have touch uh, velocity sensitivity in other words if I'm playing light it sounds soft. If I play harder, it sounds louder. Those pianos, those digital pianos, do not have that feature. So forget it. But most of you that do have a digital piano at home do have that velocity sensitivity so that it distinguishes between loud and soft. So that's one option. Send me your MIDI file. I'll give you a quote, and we'll make that into a great recording for you. For other people that are in the greater Los Angeles area, you've got two options. If you've got a great piano at home, call me. I'll come out there, I'll mic it, I'll record it, I'll bring it back to my studio, I'll mix it down and master it, and it's going to be great quality. Or you can come down here, Piano Man Chuck Studios, and you can play on this Nord Stage 2, whatever, whatever piano that you want, and we'll make a recording from that too. In fact, if you're here, we can also make a YouTube recording using three cameras, a front, a side, and a top view. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, we can set that up for you too. So these are some options that are available to you. All is not lost just because you can't afford to have a $500,000 piano at your house or one of these. So send me a private message or an email and we'll take it from there. Uh, go to my website and get my email address, uh, pianomanchuck.com. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.